What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another question, another tough one. So the graph below shows the height of the water in a container as it is poured at a constant rate. Draw potential shape of the container. So we got this height versus time graph, and we have this function here. So this question is tougher because usually what happens is we are given the container and we have to draw this graph. But in this case, we are given the height versus time graph and we have to draw the potential shape of the container. Now, if you didn't watch these videos in, um, in the lecture portion, I'd highly recommend you watch those before watching this one as uh, things will just click more for you. You're going to understand a lot better what I'm going to be talking about. So notice how this height here is increasing and the height is always going to be increasing if you're pouring water in, right? The height of the water in the container, it's always going to be increasing. However, it's going to be increasing as we saw at an increasing rate, at a constant rate, or at a decreasing rate. And in this case, notice if we draw tangents everywhere on this function, notice how the tangents are getting more steep. So the rate of change, the instantaneous rate of change is going up and up and up, meaning that the height is changing at an increasing rate. Right, so the change, the uh, height is uh, increasing at an increasing rate. It's uh, changing faster and faster and faster. And if you remember, when the height is increasing at an increasing rate, that means that the lower portion of the container is going to have a larger diameter than the upper portion. Right, so the container is going to look maybe something like this, right? Or you could even have a shape um, perhaps even like this, right? Container like that, right? So larger diameter at the bottom versus a smaller diameter at the top. And the reason is, is because if you're pouring water in from the top, what's going to happen is notice with the larger diameter, because there is more container to fill, the height is going to be changing slowly at first. Hence why we have these less steep tangents at the beginning. But then as we move up the container, as the water is moving up the container, notice how there's going to be less diameter to fill as we go up here and here as well. So what's going to happen is that rate of change is going to go up. So if you want to describe this in words, we have a larger diameter at the bottom of the container. and a smaller diameter at the top, right? So both of these uh, containers fit these descriptions. Now, what if the graph instead of this shape was maybe perhaps shaped like this, right? As this dotted line. Well, then it would be a decreasing rate because notice how the tangents are steep at the beginning, but then they get less steep. So it's the opposite of this shape. Tangents are less steep. They get more steep. Here they are more steep and they get less steep, meaning that it would be the opposite. You would have a smaller diameter at the bottom and you'd have a larger diameter at the top. So these would maybe just be like flipped over and uh, that would be potential shapes for this graph. What if the graph was a straight line? So what if it was like this? Well, that means that the height is changing at a constant rate, so the diameter is constant throughout the container. So it would just be like a cylinder container, like a can of Coke, for example. If you're pouring uh, water into a can, 
uh, that is in the shape of a cylinder, then the uh, height versus time graph would just be a straight line. Diameter is constant throughout the container. So uh, yeah, but in this case, because it's increasing, we have a larger diameter at the bottom, smaller diameter at the top.